Number 56, what volume of 0.750 molarity hydrochloric acid solution can be prepared from the HCl produced by the reaction of 25.0 grams of sodium chloride, which is NaCl, with excess sulfuric acid, and then they give us a nice little balanced equation. It might not be balanced, though. Um, I don't see any coefficients in the front. Usually, if you do see coefficients in the front, like if there was like a 2 here and a 3 here, you could probably already assume that it's balanced. But since I don't see any coefficients in the front, I'm going to act as if it's not balanced. And after I write this out, I'm just going to make sure that it's balanced. Now, as you can see here, I do not write the states, right? This is solid, this is liquid, this is gas, and this is solid. So um, they're all different compounds. So who cares? Who cares what state they're at? I don't care. That's just like more confusing stuff, right? Too much letters going on. You could strip away the states when we're doing stoichiometry. Okay, so let's just put this in the middle. It's a beautiful equation. Let's just make sure that it's balanced. We've done this time, time, time and time again. And I have one sodium. I got one sodium. I got one chlorine. I got one chlorine. It looks pretty good to me. I got two hydrogens, one and two. And then I got sulfate and sulfate. So, whew, thank goodness. So, but just do that, that, you know, little quick check just to make sure. And now I can progress with the question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list out the stuff that they told me, right? I'm producing a reaction of 25.0 grams of NaCl. So I go to where the NaCl is and I say that I have 25.0 grams of this. Cool. Now the question is asking what volume of hydrochloric acid. We should know that hydrochloric acid, right, this is the, the hard part, they didn't tell you which one of these was hydrochloric acid. Well, we've done tons of acid work, right, and naming acids, so we should know that hydroblankic acid is just a H in the front with the element. Chlor means chlorine. So hydrochloric acid is just HCl. So that's this one. We're looking for the volume, and they did tell us that it was of a 0 0.750 molarity solution. So I'm going to just write that down just to kind of gather my thoughts. And I need the volume. Okay. So I'm going to try to, like, write down mental notes. Now, as you get more, you know, as you get better with doing these types of problems, everything will be mental, meaning you could do this in your head. But I'm going to write it down for you guys just to show you like how to kind of make a mental note um, to, to see how the, the, the question is going to come together. Now, I see that I have kind of the, the pathway over here, right? We have to find the volume, and they gave me a molarity. So somehow I have to link these two equations, these two units together, right? I have a molarity, I have a volume, something should be starting to go on here. Oh, okay. Well, I could find the volume if I just do the molarity formula, right? I'm going to drop it down here that the molarity formula, we, we know this, right? Molarity equals moles over liters. So if I'm trying to find the volume, that means that I have to have the molarity, which I do, right? So I know this number. I know that this is 0 0.750. And if I'm trying to solve for the liters, or, you know, the volume, the, the volume is the liters, that means that I have to know the moles as well. But do I know that? No. So this is a question mark. I first have to find the moles to find the volume. Ah, that's why they gave you a starting amount for another compound. I can go from grams of one compound to moles of another compound through a balanced equation. If you guys have been on the playlist, we've done tons of problems like this, right? There's a flow diagram to go from uh, one compound to another compound, and that's this flow right here. Maybe I'll make this a little smaller. 
This is the general flow, but you can cater it to what you need, right? The reds and the A stands for the beginning number. So in this case, you're starting off with grams. Oh, that's what I have. I have 25 grams of NaCl. So I have 25.0 grams of NaCl, which I can convert into moles of NaCl. The A's go with the A's. And then I can go to moles of the other compound. Generically, it's labeled B, but in this case, it's HCl. Now, in general cases, we go all the way to grams, right? But looky here, all I have to do is find out the moles. And then I can just use that mole value and use the molarity formula. So I don't have to go this far. So I can just get rid of this. Cater it to what you need, guys. This is my stoichiometry balance right here. So let's get started. Start with what you're given, 25.0, and I'll color code this. This is grams of NaCl. Use that ratio, right? We're going from grams to moles, which we've done times and times, time and time again, right? Gram of NaCl goes on the bottom, the opposite side, and moles come first, mole of NaCl. I'm doing a mole to gram conversion of the same compound that's using the periodic table, PT. If I'm using the periodic table, remember you always have one mole. So wherever the word mole is, you put a one there. The mass that goes with the grams is the mass on the periodic table. So in this case, I have one sodium and one chlorine. I just add them together and I get 58.44. Cancel the unit out, that cancels on the top and the bottom, and now we're here. We just have one more conversion to do, so times by a ratio. Mole of NaCl goes on the bottom, and now the new unit of mole of HCl goes up on the top. Now, this is a mole-to-mole -mole conversion of two different compounds. That's using the balanced equation. When we're using the balanced equation, all we're doing is we're using the coefficients, AKA the big numbers in the front. That's why I just made sure that this equation was balanced. Because if we did have to add coefficients, then the answer would have been different. But nothing has, you know, there's no numbers here, which means that there's all one. I have one of each. So for HCl, I had one of them. So I'll put a one here. For NaCl, I had a one here. And now I can cancel out these units. And now I have moles of HCl. So let's just figure out what that number is. 25 divided by the 58.44. And I get 0 0.4 278. And that's moles of the HCl. So now I know what the moles are, right? I know that this is 0 0.4278 moles. And now I have this unit for the molarity equals moles of liter. Because remember, we wanted to find the volume. So let's see. Um, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. I can do it right here. Look at that cute little box. So I'm just going to plug in that this is now 0 0.4278, right? And if we solve for the liters, right? Or you can just plug it into this formula, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to rearrange this formula, right? I'm gonna say that liters equals moles, uh, sorry, ma yeah, moles, moles over molarity. So my liter is equal to my moles, which was 0 0.4278, and my molarity was 0 0.750. And that's it, guys, right? 
0.4278 divided by uh, 0.75. I'm looking at my sig fig purposes. I should have three sig figs, so 0 0.570 liters. And that is your final answer. So roughly a little bit more than half a liter. So you needed 0 0.50 liters of this solution that needs to go with 25 grams of sodium chloride. And that's it. All right. So guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Just remember this flow. Okay. Maybe put the generic one at the top of either a quiz or test so that you can always look back at it. Make sure that you remember all of your other additional formulas and you guys should be good to go. Okay. I'm rooting for you guys and I really hope you're doing well in your chem classes. Um, yeah. If, if this video helped you like, like the video and if you want subscribe to the channel, that will help us out. Thank you for that. And I will see you in the next lesson. Happy studying. Bye-bye.